Hey everybody, this is Rust Belt Collector here. I am here with James again. Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? We are doing another bootleg unboxing. Um, today we have these. These came in the mail from a guy that I found on Facebook. He said that his in-laws, I believe, bought these over in Europe on a trip and brought them home for him. So, first up, we got to talk about packaging, because this is probably the most blatant ripoff of Black Series, uh, early Black Series orange line packaging. Uh, Star Wars Episode Seven, Darth Vader uh, image there. The new role. I like that. And then here it says, in a very Hasbro-esque uh, font and logo shape, it just says, <laughs> classic. <laughs> this is... The Hasbro Classic Edition. Yeah. Very much much like the actual yeah, Hasbro no. Disney, <laughs> but it, it says classic. Here on the back, this is some... I don't even know what this artwork is from. It's like Darth Vader killing a bunch of Jedi. There's like a clone trooper back there. Uh, it says here, this is kind of a snippet from some probably proper advertising for Star Wars. It just says, The Force Awakens is set approximately 30 years after the events of The Return of Jedi. And features three new leads alongside characters returning from uh, previous Star Wars. Now, right off the bat, this one I'm actually going to keep in the box for this video. It's still sealed, whereas this one, uh, the glue has come undone. So, first off, he doesn't even fit inside his shell very well. Like, he's just... He's all loosey the generic, the generic shell. Yeah, and then he's got a proper uh, Stormtrooper blaster, but then he's got a Clone Trooper short blaster whereas this guy has a clone trooper blaster and a stormtrooper blaster so i feel like if they just switched those blasters that'd be perfect um and then freaking nerd yeah i know and then james do you notice anything about the body i mean it doesn't look very stormtrooper-esque no because it's a clone trooper body with a stormtrooper oh. head uh, well okay then yeah so it's the same body as this um which is just a copy of the Black Series Clone Trooper body. And then, you know, it, it, it has a Stormtrooper head and uh, Sand Trooper, Pauldron, and all that stuff. So, really quick, you, if you've watched the previous bootleg videos that we did, which I hope you did, we reviewed two other Stormtroopers, very similar to this one, with the amazing, amazing Death Ray effect in the chest. And you might be surprised to know that they're actually all unique sculpts. Um, something that we noticed with these. This is this is a real stormtrooper. That's well, kind of. That's that's an EVO trooper. Yeah, well, it's it's still a real trooper. It's that's, made by that's Hasbro. A, that's a Hasbro official trooper. Uh, this one. Look at how good the paint actually looks. <laughs> these have amazing. Where it's supposed to be. These have amazing paint applications. He's totally not like my uncle Steve. This guy's a little bit. Uh, He's a little janky, but so there was like this one, which was, I think this is a custom sculpt. It's got the light in the chest. It looks terrible. It doesn't look like a stormtrooper. Its head's all squished. This one I think is a ripoff of the Black Series, just with simplified articulation. There's no like double joints or anything. Uh, also with a light in the chest, but also with a clone antenna on the back. Kind of fun and weird at the same time. And then now you have this one. With a light in the chest, same as the rest, but with a clone trooper body. But the buttons on the his buttons on his belly belt button instead of his back. And I don't understand why they made three. If this is the same company making all these, I don't understand why they made uh, three individual sculpts to sell crappy bootleg. Toys. Probably because it's a bunch of you know. Sweatshop workers, and yeah. so they don't know the better. They don't know any better. It seems like it'd be cheaper, though. So we'll put those to the side, and then we'll take a look at this one briefly in the package. I mean, it's the same thing. The the packaging is all identical. And I didn't bring this up before, but here's a picture of what the proper Black Series packaging should look like. And as you can see, it's it's you know it's the older line. It's from the first release of these, I think, the first release of Black Series, and they completely just ripped it off. So. Same packaging, and the, the the glue that they barely even used has come undone. So we're going to do a sweet, sweet unboxing of this in all of its horror. And uh, I should note that these actually smell worse than the other ones. 
I could smell these through the package. Um, but they're not, they're not greasy. This one's not greasy at all, really. Um, so yeah, we've got him and we've got these blaster rifles. So of course you have your classic clone trooper rifle, very cheaply made. It just feels like plastic soldier material. And then you have your stormtrooper blaster, which should be in this guy's packaging. And then you have this figure, which is now, oh, oh, oh my. So here you have this figure, um, which he's, he's pretty decent, actually. Like, all things considered, he's better than the previous ones we've looked he at. He does look a little more, but I will, <clears throat> I do like the fact that his chest and uh, torso don't match his arms. Yeah, if you, if you can see this in the video, this is almost blue. Like, right? That kind of looks blue. Yeah, they actually dropped a blue crayon in yeah, when they yeah. were... Yeah, the, the chest is blue, and the arms and the helmet are white, and so is the belt. The belt's white. So it looks like he's got, like, a swivel on the head. It looks like also a uh, small dog has chewed up his head. That just looks absolutely atrocious. Uh, so just a swivel for the head. Like, probably, like, swivels or ball joints at the arms. He's got swivels here. He's even got elbows He's clearly just a recast, kind of, of the Star Wars Black Series figures. Like, you can see here where he would have a double joint, but he really only just has one. So they kind of cheaped out there. They replaced his hands with little ball-jointed hands. And his torso is just one solid piece to accommodate the... With the light! <laughs> the Morse code light there. Um, let's see what he's... Oh, he's actually got... Yeah, him and his twins here. That one doesn't work. Help me. You need this one. Kill me. Yeah, look at this. You you can have your army of light up chested. That'd be terrifying. Figures coming. Your through. Iron Men. These yes, these are your your stormtrooper Iron Men. So he's actually got you know ball joints and swivels at the hips. It's nice that his undersuit is painted black or cast in black, unlike this all white stormtrooper. And he's got you know swivels here and he's got a oddly ball jointed foot that came off with no effort <laughs> yeah basically this these just fall off so it's just interesting because they they took the black series figure and then they just kind of dumbed down all of the articulation points now the question is sam how much did these put you back these guys were sold to me for ten dollars each now how much is a new black series or this this year they, of black series they would retail about 20 bucks a piece so would you say this is a good christmas bargain for your like six-year-old kid if you want to give your kids lead paint and toxic plastic for christmas these are absolutely the bargain for you wow fantastic i'll be sure to buy my kiddos at least six of these and if you're in the uk where these were originally purchased they're only seven ninety, which I think is seven pounds ninety. So way more than in American, because yes, uh, it's seven because America's dollar is not as good as as the pound. So uh, American dollars are are worth about seven bald eagles, whereas this is only worth seven pounds of tea and ninety teacups. So as you can see, the British dollar is worth far less than the American eagle dollar. And if you and if you are wondering, uh. These guys really cannot hold their weapons. There's no there's no articulation that gives them enough range to hold the weapon like up to their up to their eye. It's kind of just like yeah. So, you know, these are these are definitely probably the best, quote unquote, the best bootlegs that we've seen. They're closer to knockoffs, uh, which But really how hard is it to knock off something that has very little D I mean, this the Clone Troopers and Stormtroopers do have detail, but not as much detail as other characters. That's true. I mean, it's very simple It's just lines. black and white. Yeah. It, these are pretty easy to copy. And like with these, they, like with these, they just simply ripped off the Black Series figure. So they already had a figure to cast. So again, though, that, that really brings up the mystery of why they felt the need to make these unique or like even slightly different casts when they were already doing... These, from what I can tell, these are the older bootlegs, and these are actually the more recent bootlegs. I don't know. Maybe it was a licensing thing. Maybe is there a date on the packaging? Um, and we should we should see if anybody can look up this number. Look up the number on the bottom. Yeah, see if there's anything with this UPC. Maybe that has information. Or the item number. That's true. Item, but that could also be just copied from Hasbro. It definitely could be. I don't know. 
Who um, knows, everybody? There's there's no year on this packaging, and there certainly is not going to be a year on the. There certainly is not going to be a year on the figure because these are just unmarked. Generic. What if we sawed them in half? I'm not going to do that with these. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's these guys. These. Black Series ripoffs. There's really not much else to say about them. I think they're probably part of probably the coolest packaged ones we have, and also uh, probably the best in terms of detailed sculpt, just because they copied the Black Series. And yeah, there's. Still... I would give them a uh, definitely a six out of ten. Yeah, they're, they're six, six, out, they're, they're six they're out of good. ten on the bootleg scale. Now, if you're gonna give them to your kids, probably a two out of ten. Uh, Maybe even a one out of ten because or... they do smell awful and they're a little bit greasy and, and they're probably they... toxic. Probably, they're probably toxic. So don't give these to your kids. They're they're not safe. I don't think. But I have been kind of creating a collection of these, so if you have any leads on where I can find more Stormtroopers, Clone Troopers, Jedi, any weird bootleg Star Wars figures, just uh, send me a, li like a link to them, leave a comment in the comment section, or message me over on my Instagram. Links to that will be in the description. Uh, I do toy photography over on Instagram. I'll also link down below uh, to James's podcast. And his, like, Instagram page and stuff like that. So you can check out his content. There's a random turtle that just went through your screen. So enjoy that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of this content popping up in your feed. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye now.